Mabuhay squad. We have some news to share. Um, and in past vlogs, you may have recall me saying, I have some exciting news and then I held back. I said, no, I can't tell you guys. Let's just wait till it happens. Well, Mabuhay squad, it's happened. RJ, are you ready to make the announcement to <laughs> Mabuhay squad? Mabuhay squad, check out the news. It's this. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. All right, Mabuhay squad, I'd like you to meet the newest member to our family. Don't panic. This is something that's been in the works and planned for months. Cypher's there, watching over what's going on. Now, before I get into who this one is, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. That's RJ Garcia back there unpacking our clothes. We are here in the beautiful Sonia's garden um, in a cottage that we're gonna be staying at for the next three months or four months, who knows, several months until our house is done. We're building a home in Cavite, which is in the same province. Well, we expected to move in by now, but instead we decided to rent out this beautiful cottage here in Sonia's garden in uh, Alfonso Cavite. And I'll get into why that is um, later on, probably. Uh, but this here, guys, is Rizal. Yes, my oh boy squad, I'd like you to meet Rizal. Oh, he's a little tired. This here is a beautiful, beautiful, giant poodle he is nine weeks old so here's the story guys <laughs> several months ago right um if you recall i took you to a place called liger zoo now we went there we checked out the zoo saw all the cool animals of our good friend mario and mary v so yeah we were there to check out the zoo but also while we were there we were discussing a certain arrangement <laughs> Guys, Mario and Mary V provided us this puppy. Um, if you recall in the vlog, uh, there's a beautiful, large, giant poodle named Logan. Well, this here is one of Logan's puppies. Mario had asked us, he's like, oh, you know what? Would you like a giant poodle puppy? And RJ and I are like, what do you mean would we want one? Um, actually, just watch this, watch this. Guys, Logan here is so tame, super smart, and look at him, he's very used to people, and he has his own Instagram account. It's Logan the Bear. Follow his Instagram, guys. Um, so we've been talking, and um, <laughs> when RJ and I moved to the Mobile High Squad farmhouse, I think we might have one of his kids? Yeah. Is it his kids? Yeah. We might have one of his puppies. Are they good watchdogs? Good. Not so much. <laughs> They're friendly. friendly. Okay. So maybe you can't kill the intruder, but you can keep us good company. <laughs> yes. So as you can see, <laughs> craziness, the day is here. <laughs> Rizal came to us. We watched him grow up. Mario sent us videos and pictures through Viber just so, you know, we could watch our puppy grow up and he loves to be cuddled he loves to be hugged um the reason we named him rizal is because well for those of you who know philippine culture the filipino national hero his name is jose rizal and this guy was a genius this national hero he um he's actually also a martyr okay i'll put you down go sleep go sleep he's a genius he speaks like 12, 12 different languages he's traveled the world giant poodles or poodles are supposed to be some of the smartest dogs ever so that's one reason we named him rizal and also he was born in the province of rizal here in the philippines so hence his name is rizal he is only nine weeks old guys they get really big um so when we had made the plans right we had expected to be moved in like th guys this was months ago so um, we expected we would be moving in um, and if it wasn't by now that we would have moved into our new house we were okay with Mario and Mary V holding Rizal and taking care of him past the date that they're releasing the puppies right we're like okay just like if you can keep him till December um, and they were okay with this 
But then, as some of you may know, today is a lockdown in the Philippines, which is why we're here. Sorry, going back to that. The reason why we're in this cottage is because there's a lockdown now and it's easier for us to go to our farm house site to oversee construction, which we need to do at least once a week. But if we were in Manila, we couldn't have done that because of the lockdown. Anyways, the lockdown is only supposed to be, I don't know, till the end of the month, but RJ and I, We'll, we won't rely on that because these lockdowns tend to continue and like there's this crazy projection that by September there'll be 30,000 new cases. This Delta variant by the way guys is just it's crazy here um, in the Philippines. It's it's spreading rampantly. So needless to say, we, we RJ and I accepted that there's gonna be a lockdown. We need to social distance. We're here. There's like practically no one around. We have this whole cottage to ourselves, um, and like this gorgeous rainforest jungle out there, right? So we were like, RJ, should we take Rizal now? Or should we just wait until like I don't know, December, when we actually move into our house. But then we thought about it for a while and we're like, you know, maybe we should take him soon. Like, let's take him now, before the lockdown. By the way, Rizal is in another province. We wouldn't have been able to get him during this lockdown. So now Rizal is here. Um, we're starting training now with him. Um, we're glad we did this. We made this decision as opposed to waiting till like December when he's like a lot older. Yeah, we've got like so much room as you saw in yesterday's vlog. This new cottage is so spacious. I would say it's about two or three times more spacious than my condo. Plus we have all of outside to, you know, walk the dogs and all of that. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, let me, let me like talk about what he's like. So guys, he's super duper friendly. He loves to cuddle. He loves to be hugged. Um, literally he will fall asleep if you hug him in bed. Um, he also loves to be carried. He's used to being carried apparently. Look at how huge he is guys. He looks like a little, he looks like a little puppet. Look at his eyes, yes. Um, we brush him every day um, because this coat, which by the way is hypoallergenic, it needs to be brushed, otherwise it mats. For those of you who have poodles, you guys know exactly what, what it's like. He's so tame and he's so smart, guys. He learns all the rules very fast. Like he'll choose something, like a plant here or something, and I'll be like, no! And then he will stop. See, like, he stopped right now. He thought, I, no, it's okay, I wasn't, sorry, I didn't, you can drink water. <laughs> he's just a big softy, guys. So Mario and Mary V um, gave us his pedigree. Turns out this dog has champion blood in his pedigree. Crazy, like something like best poodle in Japan. So he's he's got lines from bloodlines from Japan, Korea, and on the mother's side, Russia. I'm like what? Wow! Talk about diaspora. I guess like his confirmation must be pretty good, right? We're not gonna show him and we will be uh, neut neutering him when the time comes. Uh, he can't go outside just yet. In a few weeks, he will have had his third round of shots. And then a week after that, we can take him out because, you know, as you guys know, parvo is a deadly, deadly virus for dogs. Very risky if your dogs are not vaccinated for parvo. So um, how is he getting along with the dogs? Well, Cypher now is slowly warming up to him. You should have seen the first like day or so that Cypher was around this dog. Talk about never ending barking. But now uh, both dogs are just generally okay with him romping around. They're not so close to him yet. They're, they're kind of scared of his size, like watch. Oh, size, good. Cypher and Sahara kind of stay to themselves. When he gets in the playful mood, the playing mood, he will play with Sahara and Sahara will actually kind of play back. But then when it gets really rough, she gets really scared. But it's also Sahara's menstruating cycle, so she's not herself. Here at the cottage, Rizal loves to hang out in this area, right? He's always sleeping around here because it's so breezy. Oh, look who's here, we have a guest. It's Ugo. Sadly, we can't bring Ugo in because you're not vaccinated. Yes, that's Ugo. Yes. This is the resident golden retriever. Hi, Ugo. I, I'm not I'm not sure if you're allowed in. I'd love to introduce you to Rizal. Rizal, that's Ugo. Yes. Sorry. So his coat is red, like his mother, Lilo, from Russia. Yes, 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 yes. He's beautiful. 
and like honestly he's just so huggable watch this okay i was gonna pick him up to hug him but i don't want to disturb him right now he found one of cypher's old toys we bought a whole bunch of new toys rj's of course been on online shopping spree uh for this puppy we have new bowls coming in yeah we've got all kinds of like pet food and vitamins now because he's like a large to giant breed um he needs certain supplements like calcium i remember when i had my great day um many years ago uh, in canada when i raised him he needed to have vitamin c supplements so that he could have good strong bones growing up because you know those really giant breeds they need strong bones and their bones are growing like super fast rizal here will have a vitamin c supplement in terms of housebreaking we've Got his uh, crate here. <laughs> it's a huge crate. Look over to Sahara. And so far, he's had perfect score for P. And for Poo, he has failed all three times so far. <laughs> Um, he's tried to poo on the carpet twice, but both times I caught him and moved him to the puppy pads um, And the third time he did it when I wasn't looking, but I'm not worried I, I could tell he's a fast learner and he'll just he'll learn that the pee and poo area is in the bathroom He does pee on the puppy pad though, um, you know at the pee hours I will bring him out here and he will just he knows to pee on the puppy pads uh, Mario and Mary V were good at getting the puppies used to peeing and pooing on pads. So it's like he just knew. See, watch, Sahara and <laughs> Rizal are playing. Cypher is a bit like phobic. I think just based because of the size. Oh, well that was a fast game, but usually they'll go at it for a few minutes. You itchy? Huh? Let me scratch it, let me scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Nika's here. Hi Nika. And she brought the puppies. Where are they? Oh, there's Miranda and she's using the puppy pad. Good job, Miranda. This is the mom of Cypher and Sahara. Yeah, she just used the puppy pad. And there's Coco. Hey, Coco, the sister of Sahara. And Edmark. Yes, welcome. <laughs> guys, they're staying in Tagaytay as well. So that means we could see you guys often. Yeah. Yay. We're thinking about to stay a few nights also here, like me. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. But so I was like, I'm not used to so many little puppies. Hey, Miranda. <laughs> Guys, you should see Rizal trying to play with the dogs. So all the dogs are playing with each other, but he doesn't know how because he's just so big. Rizal, go play. I feel like my mom when I was a kid. My mom used to be like, go play with the kids to play soccer. And I would just stand on the side. There we go. Go, go, go. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda's clearly still the boss. Morning doggies. Morning Sahara. <laughs> she ain't moving. Morning Sipes. Look at this prince. Good morning Sipes. Did you sleep well? Yes. <laughs> Good morning Rizal. Guys, this is one huge puppet. He looks like a puppet to me. Rizal, you look like a puppet. You don't look like a real dog. You hungry? For sure. So this morning, he peed in the puppy pad. So happy about that. I took him there. And then um, one thing I've noticed over the past few days is he will hold his poo in the bathroom. He doesn't want to do it there for some reason. So I let him out and I watched him. And as soon as he did the squat, brought him to the puppy pad and he was successful. Yay! So, so far it's like perfect score for pee. He hasn't peed anywhere here but it's been one for four i believe for poo <laughs> i always have to take him there but soon i think in time he will learn see the thing is i would love to take him out to this area because there's an awesome like area out here where i'm sure he would poo like wait on there he would definitely love to poo i know but i'm just afraid he'll get parvo i don't know if it Parvo virus is lurking here by way of some other dog's poo, perhaps, or I don't know, you know what I mean? So just gotta be safe for the next three weeks at least, and then I will teach him to go poo outside because clearly he doesn't want to poo in the bathroom. It's just for some reason. But that's okay. I know you're trying. <laughs> Good boy. So Rizal is really good at self-entertaining. He just takes it upon himself to like grab toys from the toy box down there and he plays with the toys. He doesn't play with anything he's not supposed to, thank goodness. 
Um, and he's tried, for example, to chew at the pandan plant, and I'd say no, and then he would never touch it again. He's actually quite, quite smart. He's got a good memory. <laughs> and as you can see, he's really, he's really a big ball of energy. Give me that, give me that. He loves toys that um, Cypher and Sahara are just tired of playing with now. Cypher is finally at ease with him being around, but Cypher will check him every now and then to, you know, discipline him because he's the oldest, um, which I actually allow because I want this dog to grow up knowing dog rules and <laughs> understanding the dynamics of being around other dogs, which sadly Cypher didn't have the luxury of. Um, and here, at Sonia's garden, he's interacting with the staff, he's seeing, um, you know, as you saw yesterday, he hung out with the dogs of Edmark, and he's learning a lot, this dog. <laughs> but these two continue to play with each other. How come you guys don't play with your big brother? Your younger, bigger brother? I, I think they just can't process his size, like, they're just not used to it. I, I, I'm sure one day there will be a day when all three of them will be playing together. It's just, I think, too soon. As for me, um, I just relieved myself of a lot of stress because I did a live stream for the Ants Canada channel um, which means I don't have to rush to put together an ant video. Alright guys, let's see our positive affirmation for Saturday, August the 7th. Life created me to be fulfilled. I now release all expectations and I know that I am taken care of. Ooh, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation. RJ's just hanging out in bed. Yeah. <laughs> we had breakfast and pancakes, and now it's just like lying in bed, chilling. Just and tired. Tired? Why? I have three kids now. You have three kids now? <laughs> I know. Are you happy? Not I'm happy. What's your favorite thing about Rizal? Oh, I still behave. He's behaved. Do you think he'll fit in well with our family? I guess. <laughs> uh, Mabu High Squad, our family just got bigger. Look at the beautiful day this morning. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 guys, right? Look at that. Now, usually I would show you guys outside um, at the condo and you would see buildings, right, and the golf course. This is quite the different view. Instead of buildings, it's just a bunch of like rainforest trees. Of course, we'll always miss the condo view, but you know, change is good. Life is about constant change and growth and new adventures and learning and new experiences, just collecting them. Because you know, you never know when you're gonna leave this earth. So with only one life to live, you might as well live it to the fullest. Right guys? As full as this full and lush rainforest. All right, guys. So Rizal here says, thank you for watching, Mabu High Squad. Thank you. Um, we're going to continue playing. And I'm going to start with um, training. Ooh. He's super easy to train anyways. Um, and he loves to be carried like this and brought around. I can't, again, bring him outside because, sadly, Parvo is a danger, right? But soon, in a few weeks, we'll be able to say hi to Mabu High Squad. They want to see you. He's so fluffy. And guys, this place is starting to really feel like home um, more and more. I don't know if you guys feel it, but over time, I think you guys will start to get used to this. This, this place, this, this place mm -hmm. in Sonia's garden. Um, but now it really feels like home, guys, because now we're starting to get packages. Our new address is Sonia's garden. Um, <laughs> Check out what just came in the mail. It's so cool. 